Good morning. Welcome to this splendid occasion. We are delighted that you are here at the graduation ceremony of the Performance Based Preparatory Academy Class of 2023. We are so proud of the accomplishments of these young adults and we are delighted to have you here to celebrate with us. Our ceremony will begin <clears throat> in a few moments, but meanwhile, there are a few items that I would like to announce. To preserve the dignity of this very important occasion in your senior's life and for the safety of yourself and those around you, we request that you refrain from moving about as much as possible. To capture this very special moment for the parents of our graduates, Mrs. Maxson, our graduation coach, will be taking photographs as students exit the stage. Their proofs will be made available for purchase from PBP, excuse me, PBPA approximately five days after today's ceremony. We will alert you when they are available. To allow each senior the respect they and their family deserve during this occasion, please refrain from excessive displays of enthusiasm when your senior's name is called. We know you are very excited about graduation, but every parent here deserves the opportunity to hear their child's name when it's announced. At this time, please silence your cell phones to avoid distractions during the ceremony. We appreciate your cooperation in this matter. At the end of the ceremony, we ask that you remain seated and in your place until the last graduate has exited the auditorium. Please relax and join the school board, assistant to the superintendent, faculty, and staff of Performance Based Preparatory Academy as we honor the graduates for their hard work, dedication, and achievement. Arthur Jameson, the proud principal of the Performance Based Preparatory Academy, and I have the great pleasure of declaring the official start of this graduation ceremony. To begin this memorable celebration, please continue standing as we recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated.
Now please welcome to the podium our wonderful program specialist, Dr. Michelle Alisea Barrow. Good morning. It is my great privilege to introduce our very special guest. Troy Ingersoll, Chairman of the School Board representing District 5. Debbie Hawley, Vice Chair of the School Board representing District 1. Dr. Donna Mills, Board Member representing District 3. Jennifer Richardson, Board Member representing District 4. Dr. Kevin Perry, Assistant to the Superintendent of St. Lucie Public Schools. Dr. Sunny Booker, Director of Alternative Education. And Mrs. Belkis Candelier, uh, Performance-Based School Counselor. Thank you for joining us this morning for the Performance-Based Preparatory Academy's 2023 graduation ceremony. Now I'd like to welcome back to the podium to address the class, our principal, Dr. Arthur Jameson. Good morning and welcome to our school board, Dr. Prince, our superintendent and district personnel. Thank you for uh, supporting Performance Based Preparatory Academy throughout this year. To our parents, family supporters and friends, Thank you for taking this journey with us. To the PBPA faculty and staff, thank you for your unrelenting belief to coach, encourage, and motivate our students across the finish line. To the graduating class of 2023, congratulations. We are so proud of you. You've made it to the pinnacle of your K-12 grade school careers. Whatever the reason or situation that led you to us, the outcome is still the same. You all overcame adversity to get to this point today. Your faces all exude a sense of pride, and deservingly so. At some point during the year, many of you, many of you said, I can't. But we believed in you, and we asked you to believe in yourself. We told you that your quest to earn a diploma was going to be a marathon, not a sprint race. When I look back at the data, many of you came to us with, with assessments to pass, plus four, five, six or more credits needing to earn. For those of you th that do not know, that equates to eight, 10, 12 courses that needed to be completed in a short period of time. We didn't want you to look at the objective as a daunting task. We wanted you to take incremental steps to reach the goal, but you needed to step out of your comfort zone. We needed you to do four things. We wanted you to improve your attendance in coming to school. We wanted you to stay on task while you were in the building. We wanted you to do homework. Yes, homework. Work on your classes at night and on the weekends. And take an active role in your learning to prepare yourself for the various assessments that you needed to pass in order to earn your diploma. So basically, we wanted you to be selfish, focus on yourself and not worry about anyone else. Just do you. If you did that, you would be here. Congratulations, you've made it. Now, as you move on with your lives, it is my hope that you'll take those four points with you. Number one, go to work every day. Number two, stay on task and be productive. Number three, do extra work to benefit the organization and yourself. And number four, continue to be open to learning new roles and responsibilities in your place of employment. See, what we teach and preach is to get you ready for adulthood. That's what we do at PBPA, and it's all because we love each and every one of you. Many of you stated that we were hard on you. In your generation's language, we were doing too much. Students, it's called tough love. We had a job to do. Don't take it personal. 
Look at where you're at today. In closing, understand, you are our future, and we want you to be productive members of our society. I believe you are ready and more than able to grasp the torch to, uh, that our community bestows upon you. Continue to dream big, set a plan, work that plan, and see it through. Many of your successes, many of your successes, be, may, I'm sorry, may many of your successes, may your successes be many and your hardships be few. <laughs> I wish you everything that you so richly deserve in the years ahead. It has been an honor and a privilege to serve you. Congratulations once again. Now please welcome to the podium, the assistant to the superintendent for St. Lucie County Schools, Dr. Kevin Perry. Good morning. On behalf of our wonderful superintendent, Dr. John R. Prince, congratulations to the Performance Based Academy graduates of 2023. Students, to make it to this stage, you have been dedicated, persistent, and resilient. Not only have you been successful in school by following those four points, but you did so in spite of a nationwide pandemic. To the parents, family, and friends, we thank you for your support of these students because we know that graduates rarely make it to this stage without a strong support system. And we thank you for being a partner with us in St. Lucie Public Schools. Class of 2023, I congratulate you and wish you much success in your future endeavors, be it higher ed, your chosen career, or the military. We look forward to seeing and hearing the great things that you will accomplish. And finally, I implore you to do what you've already done, continue to make us proud. Thank you, Dr. Perry, for those words of wisdom. Now, please join me in welcoming to the podium our counselor, Mrs. Candelier. Welcome, everyone. Today, we celebrate a great accomplishment for our children, and I say our children because they're yours and we borrowed them for some time. <laughs> um, we are celebrating the graduation of 58 seniors and six underclassmen. Thanks. <laughs> we have six students who are graduating with a silver cord for having a GPA of over a 3.0 or higher. And we have three students who have completed industry certifications. These certifications will make them more marketable in the workforce. We also have 34 students who are graduating with the Promise Scholarship from IRSC. So this will um, give them free tuition for a period of two years so they can complete an associate degree. So I want to thank you all for coming to celebrate with us. And I would like to introduce our student speaker, Jalea Williams. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2023. Thank you all for coming to our celebration. I am Jaleel Williams, and it's my honor to represent the student body of Performance Based Preparatory Academy, AKA PBPA. Today is likely to be one of the most rewarding and exciting events in our lives. For most of us, this is one of our biggest milestones we have reached. As individuals, we have faced many hardships over the past years that has led us to performance base. Some of us were going through emotional distress. Some of us became first time parents Others were unsure how to productively complete coursework, and all of us were struggling to finish high school. Today, we can proudly celebrate our success. When I first arrived to PBPA, I was skeptical about being here. 
Nervous, especially because I was the new girl in town. I was unaware what this school would mean to me, but the genuine support from the staff, teachers at our big little school made me realize that I found a school that actually cares. Sorry, cares. A program that I quickly knew I succeed in. Teachers here at PBPA are more than teachers. They're our family and act as so. Our faculty and staff pushed us towards excellence, which is what made today possible. Now as we move forward in our lives, no matter where you are going or what you are doing, make sure to plan the future you desire. Remember to take proud in how far you've come. Have faith how, in how far you can go. Don't forget to enjoy the journey. Thank you, family and friends, and thank you everyone at PBPA for helping us get to this point in our lives. We have put in blood, sweat, and tears to make this day possible. Congratulations, class of 2023. We made it. <laughs> Dr. Jamison, please return to the podium to address the class. Dr. Perry, please join me at the podium. Graduating class of 2023, please stand. Distinguished, distinguished members of the school board, assistant to the superintendent, Dr. Perry, as principal of the Performance Based Preparatory Academy, I present to you the graduating class of 2023. I certify that they have met the graduation requirements of the school board of St. Lucie Public Schools and the state of Florida. Dr. Jamison, parents, family, friends, school board members, I proudly accept this class. You may award their diploma. Dr. Perry, members of the school board and distinguished guests, please assemble to recognize our graduates. Malachi Amos. <laughs> Madison Barber. Tayshawn Black. Nick Borno. Brianna Bouton. Terry Brown. Austin Bryant. Robert Clark. Valentina Damian. Tyreek Daniels. Jalen Dorsey. Wislandi Elisi. Jaron Exilus. Kevin Borjas Gomez. Tanaya Goodman. Shayla Hawthorne. Kamari Horn. Wesley Jean Laurent. Marquia Johnson. Lensica Lute. Isaac Mackey. Yeah. 
Zach Mangino. Olivia McCray Monserino. Matthew McGinnis. Dylan Jake Mulvihill. Logan Monroe. Jamarian Plain. Julian Ramirez. Paris Render. Yandel Rios Camacho. Deuce Rose. Degarian Rucker. Nicolas Sanchez. Alyssa Shimko. Hannah Shine. Shahid Surita. Zachary Taylor. Andres Torres Martin. Anaya Troublefield. Madison Tully. Janessa Tursi. Carlos Williams. Ladravius Willis. Jalia Williams. Omari Williams. Dr. Perry, please join me at the podium. Dr. Perry, I present the class of 2023, graduates of St. Lucie Public Schools and the Performance-Based Preparatory Academy. They await your confirmation. Graduates, by the authority vested in me as representative of the superintendent for St. Lucie Public Schools, Dr. John R. Prince, I confirm you graduates, turn your tassels. Thank you all so much. This morning has been a wonderful experience for our students to honor their accomplishments. On behalf of our principal, Dr. Arthur L. Jamison Jr., Performance-Based Preparatory Academy faculty and staff, I cannot express how proud we are and I wish all of our students great success. Again, congratulations. As we begin our recessional, I ask the audience to remain seated until the last graduate exits the auditorium. Line leaders will assist with the recessional of graduates. We ask that you exit out of the back of the auditorium and meet your student on the right back exit that leads to the student parking lot. Assistant to the superintendent, Dr. Perry, and distinguished guests, please join in the recessional of the class of 2023.